the iPhone 10. Apple's latest and most popular device. It sold out in minutes Friday morning. It was insane. I was up. The timeline that I saw was from 301 to 307. If you were able to place your order, you were pretty much good to go November 3rd delivery date. If you placed your order like 308 to 310, you were looking at one to two weeks. 310 to 315, you're looking at three to four weeks. And anytime after like 315, 320 in the morning, it was already backed up to five to six weeks estimated delivery date. So this thing sold out crazy fast. Here's everything I learned from my pre-order experience, everything you need to know in preparation for next year and about this year's models for the iPhone 10. So first off, I made a video one week ago, how to pre-order the unlocked iPhone 10. Some commenters are saying, hey, wait a minute, you don't want to go with the T-Mobile version as he recommends, you want to go with the Verizon version. So I want to clarify this. Yes, you do want to go with the Verizon version. This ships unlocked out of the box and works with all carriers across the United States. However, in order to pre-order the Verizon model, you have to have a pre-existing Verizon postpaid account. So the only reason I recommended the T-Mobile model is because it was the only model you could pre-order without needing a pre-existing account. So again, yes, you do want ideally the Verizon model because it works on all carriers. However, I assumed many viewers would not be able to pre-order that as they're not Verizon customers. So I recommended the T-Mobile model as it does ship unlocked out of the box and you can pre-order it without needing an account. The caveat of course with the T-Mobile model is it only works on GSM networks. It does not support CDMA carriers like Verizon and Sprint. So there you go. Again, Verizon was the model you wanted but T-Mobile was the model you could get. That's why I recommended it. Now that was from ordering through Apple. The second thing I wanna talk about is actually if you were to order from Best Buy, you could get the Verizon model at full price. It would ship unlocked and you wouldn't need an existing account. So I ended up buying the Verizon model from Best Buy. Again, shipping unlocked, didn't require any carrier info or any carrier account info. And so that was actually the way to go. Unfortunately, Best Buy was charging a premium for this device. They have agreements with carriers. And that means if you sign up with a monthly installment plan, Best Buy earns more revenue because of the partnerships. So they charged a $100 premium if you chose to buy the iPhone 10 at full price. This sucked, but you got the Verizon model, which is what you wanted and you can use it with your prepaid carrier of choice. The last thing I wanna talk about is how to pre-order your iPhone 10 in the most efficient way possible. One, update your shipping and billing info well in advance. Two, use the Apple Store app. This loads way faster than the website. You'll be in and out very quickly. And three, add the card you're gonna to use to make the order to Apple Pay. So the process for checking out in the quickest way possible is first to favorite the item you want, select your model and carrier, hit the favorite button, and this will save it to your account. Then on the night of the pre-order, you can go to your account, go to favorites, and tap on your device to quickly check out. And lastly, you wanna have Apple Pay enabled with your card of choice, select use Apple Pay, and you will be completely done in the process in about 10 seconds. So that's how you order the iPhone 10. Hopefully this information is helpful for next year. Again, either go for the T-Mobile model if you don't have an existing account, look to Best Buy to get the unlocked model at potentially a higher price, and be sure to use the Apple Store app and get everything set up well in advance so you can enjoy that new iPhone 11, iPhone 9, whatever they call it, um, and get it as quickly as possible. So that wraps up this video. Feel free to drop a like down below if you found it helpful. Consider sharing with your friends and family, and also consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.